If the death toll is confirmed, Newtown would be the second worst U.S. shooting after the 32 that died at Virginia Tech in 2007. Friday's shooting is the third major gun attack in the U.S. in 2012. I'm now joined by David Chipman. He's a special agent at the U.S. Bureau of Firearms and Explosives. David, thank you for joining us. I've asked this question a few times already. What is the answer here? Well, I think first today we have to reflect that the murder of 20 children is something that is unprecedented. And my 25 years at ATF, and I'm now retired and working for mayors against illegal guns, um, I think we need to reflect on this. This isn't something that's happened before. Uh, when I was digging through the rubble of Oklahoma City, where 19 children were killed, I thought that I would never see anything like that again. So my heart goes out to the families, but also those first responders and law enforcement who I will promise you will never be the same. I was never the same. And so today I think we have to think first about is this going to be a senseless and meaningless act or in the weeks to come, is our government gonna take action that will change the playing field with gun violence that we will look back on this and say, oh, well, there was meaning in this killing. It, 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 it suffered a horrible loss, but we, we took actions that made a difference. And at Mayors Against Illegal Guns, we believe there are certain actions that can be taken that could contribute to a safer America. You know, it's interesting because in, it seems like in many of these mass shootings, the guns were obtained legally. Uh, it's, it's really something to think about because you have these gun laws that are already in place. And there's a lot of frustration out there for people. What more, you know, what more can be done? They're obtained legally. Uh, there's, it, there doesn't seem to be an answer. Um, after 25 years with the government, um, certainly I've seen frustrations in that service. But I can tell you this with certainty. When the American government has been determined on an issue, there have been changes that have made this com com uh, country safer. An example, after 9-11, we made sure that changes were made that airline travel became safe again. After Oklahoma City, I could tell my children that dad was going to be safe in a federal building. And I am absolutely certain that our government at this moment in time will step forward with experts and determine what it will take to make kindergartners safe. Um, and, and when we do that, we will look back and say that these children didn't die for, any, for nothing at all. David, I want you to take a look at a timeline that we've put together of the various shootings uh, that have taken place just in this past year. Uh, if you take a look up there, we begin with what happened today. We had the mall event that happened earlier this week, uh, and the numbers continue. And, and you see something like that. It continues to happen despite all the rhetoric that is out there. You know, it's been so many years since Columbine, and yet we have another school shooting. And so I'm wondering for my family, when is this going to happen again? I mean, it, it could happen again. We could see another school shooting after today. Unfortunately, it will happen again unless we do something about it. Uh, there has been a lot of talk and little action. Right now, in the U.S., 40% of gun sales occur in this country without any background check. We've heard pr pr previous guests talk about mental health problems. Shouldn't we check to make sure someone doesn't have a mental health history before acquiring a gun. It's too soon to know what really happened in this incident. But there are countless murders across this country every day that I believe can be prevented. And I think that is our duty as Americans, our duty as a country, to do that which we can. We cannot prevent every act of violence. But we can prevent many of them. That's what I dedicated my life to in government service, and that's what I will dedicate my life to now with a whole host of people who see today enough is enough. We need action, and it will require talk, but talk for, followed by action. And this government has done it before, and now's the time that I believe it'll do it again. Okay, David Chipman, thank you so much for bringing us your experience uh, on this very difficult topic. Thank you for having me.